Um, come back. <laughs> uh, there's no motor. What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farmer. We're back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. This is episode number two. Uh, in the first episode, we built a simple car and a little garage door that opened and closed when we pushed the button. Um, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to mess around with this game because it is a little time consuming if you really want to, uh, you know, do anything unique and, and come up with some cool things. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple like gyroscopic type of vehicles today. Now, I, I wouldn't I don't know if I'd call them exactly gyroscopes, um, but here is the first one I made and I'll kind of give you an idea what I'm going for here. Um, so we have this cylinder here, right? And and this thing is meant to roll. And, you know, like a gyroscope would would basically, I don't know if you've ever seen those, those human gyroscopes where they have, it's like three different dimensions where the thing is spinning and it's using kind of like the gravity and the shifting of the weight to propel the rings around and you know kind of spin and everything um so that's what this is kind of do so if we if we whoops i need to let off the gas just a bit if we roll forward here um basically the gravity the weight of this thing is going to start causing the wheel to uh or the cylinder to start you know rolling and spinning and then these uh these jets are to help me steer because i didn't bother putting any way to steer this thing um, and basically these guardrails on the side are just to keep everything aligned keep it all like moving in the uh you know within the the cylinder and not popping out you know because basically the car could just kind of like just totally get pushed out of this thing um, but anyway, so I'm going to push number two and push forward and we're just going to kind of roll forward. As you can see, even with, um, even with those slanted, uh, stair things kind of making everything smooth, it's still not a perfectly smooth circle. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really run that smoothly, but this was just like the first concept vehicle. It's totally ridiculous, right? Um, but I did make a couple other ones. The, the one that was really going to work well, I just destroyed accidentally and you saw it rolling away. <laughs> um, basically I'll tell you about what I, uh, was planning on doing there, but, uh, I'll, I'll show you my second one, uh, now. And this one is actually not, I don't know if I'd really call it gyroscopic at all because it's not using... It's not using the weight shift or anything. Basically, it's just propelling uh, using the jets in the center. Um, but this one does steer uh, both both sides or both wheels, I guess you could call these things, are, as you can see from the top, they are not connected. So the bearings are allowing, you know, one of them to, to spin freely of the other one. So it makes it easy to steer. Uh, but if I push one and two... Um, I can get this thing to go straight and I have four four jets going and it's pretty good and it's pretty reliable and, and I can just let off one to steer or I can you know steer the other direction like this. Uh, I could actually add a couple more jets uh, to make this thing a lot faster, but it would be a lot less um, I don't know stable like we could we could easily flip this thing. Um, but the cool difference between this one and the first, like the concept one I showed you over there, is that this one is all one piece. If you see, I'm holding the uh, the lift right here. Now everything is all on the same vehicle. That one has two different vehicles basically. It has the vehicle in the in the middle, but then it also has this, you know, cylinder cage. Uh, you know, this thing looks like it's popping out, but these bars. You know keep it in and it'll pop it back in line um, but the jet one is pretty cool it, it seems to work a lot more smoothly uh, I'm gonna give you an idea what I was gonna do with the second one so my concept after that one was to create this and the small wheels didn't work at all like they're just way too small uh, when they hit these bumps it really just gets everything caught up and uh, didn't work very well um, but as you can see this this one is broken too um, so the way this one worked is you'd sit in the seat and you'd push one or two and these wheels would spin forward on either side you know so you you'd be able to steer as well um, I did have a crossbar going across here 
and um, these wheels like wrapped around each side. So there was one wheel on this side and one wheel on this side, and that was to kind of keep it in line and make sure um, it didn't kind of fall off its track. Now the third concept, I have <laughs> the one that just broke. Uh, I didn't catch it all on video, unfortunately. Uh, but this one was kind of like that one, except we just had some big wheels. I was going to use big wheels. And they were going to all rest, you know, just one wheel on the inside rather than having one on each side. And the difference was I was going to have the the carriage, I guess, where the, the driver sits um, still sort of attached to this bar. And I tried to change something. I wanted to put an extra bearing in here to let it swivel. And I couldn't get the thing reconnected. I thought it was all connected correctly, but it, it wasn't. Um, this game's a little tricky. I'll tell you a little bit about that. So um, let's say I wanted to connect these things. There's basically no way, at least that I know, to to reconnect a broken, uh, you know, a disconnected piece. Now, if I hover over this, see it's how it's still separate. Even though these are both officially on correct, uh, you know, snap points, uh, it just still will not, uh, it won't connect. So you can't, I don't know if that's going to be a feature they add later that lets you somehow reconnect. Like maybe, maybe I think what they could do is, let's say you pick something up with a lift and then you, you know, carry it over to this and maybe you can have it connect somehow. Either that or just, you know, if you do have something all on a plane here, let us, you know, reconnect it somehow. Because basically... I'm throwing away, I have to rebuild these wheels every time I mess up if, if I disconnect these pieces. So um, it's a little tricky. Um, I wish I had that other one to show you, but uh, I just, I'm going to have to rebuild an entire extra wheel um, to work on that. But uh, let's take you for another ride in this jet one. Um, and I'll just, uh, I'll give you an idea how, how to build it in case, you know, in case you want to, uh, actually, you know what? Why don't we do something a little bit? Why don't we, why don't we make this thing a little bit more crazy? What do you think? Um, let's see. We can throw another jet. Do I have any blocks I can, yeah, I guess I can just put it right there. Why not? And then I just need to reconnect, uh, connect one to that one and connect two to to that one and that will give us the extra jets all right now this thing is probably going to be pretty crazy let's let's do a hard left turn this whole thing yep yeah, there we go there we go we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fly oh we're flying i think we're, we might we might even spin spin around in the carriage all right so let's give you a, a side view all right let's do a little u-turn here don't don't catch too much air all right, I'll slow down a bit. All right. Yeah, so if you if you see yourself tipping a little bit, you can just let off one of the gases, you know, and and uh, kind of like rebalance yourself. Uh, but this one is definitely the most fun, and it's the mo whoops. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a problem there. Uh, like I said, the cool thing about this one is though it is all. Did I just break it? Oh, wait. Okay. The cool thing is that one is all one piece. So if you like mess up or if you have to move it or you flip it, like if I knock that one over, there's no way to get it back over with the two wheels, two vehicles still like connected the the rings and the vehicle on the inside. Uh, at least the cool thing about this one is that, you know, it's all one piece. And that's, that's really what I was going for with this, uh, the one that just broke, but I hope to, uh, to update that one. Uh, in a future video, I googled Minecraft circles, um, and you know, I found the size that I thought would would work, and uh, I just you know place these blocks. Now you want to start on a lift, obviously. You don't want to connect. You don't want to start building on the ground because then it's going to be like connected to the ground. Um, but you need to start building it here, and then once you do that. Um, you know, then you can take it off the ground and as long as you're adding blocks to this um, it won't be you know it'll still be like a, a vehicle basically it'll, it won't be connected to the ground um, and then I put those uh, what are they called 
the wedges, the staircase wedges. You know, I put those in the little corners. And uh, that's basically it. So, you know, you want to, like, connect that. And then just keep on building up the circle. You know, however, whatever size you choose to build, you know, that's how you, that's how you connect it. I mean, obviously, you could just use a block, too. But I was trying to get rid of the bumps and make everything nice and smooth for the wheels to run on. Like that. Um, and then once you get up to the top, you know, once you get to the to the upper half where you have to start going that direction, um, you can just pile yourself up on, on some blocks like this. Just keep jumping, you know, and then and then build it that way. So that works too. Um, hopefully that helps. But uh, yeah, if, if anybody builds a, a similar vehicle or a gyroscopic type of vehicle, um, like this where it's not just a, a car with wheels running on the ground um, make sure you tweet me or you know message me a picture or whatever I'd love to see it um, so I'm gonna be working on fixing my my updated design that totally disintegrated in front of your face <laughs> um, but yeah this is pretty fun so uh, I noticed if you get too many things connected um, you'll start to get some lag in the game it is still like an early release game um, you know, by the way, like these, these little spinning things, uh, they're not on bearing. So this is more just decorative. It's not, um, they're not like actual wheels or anything like that. It's just, uh, how I made it. No big deal. Um, and these yellow things I made so that the, you know, the thing would stay kind of aligned with, uh, with the, the car and everything. So, um, so anyway, that's it for today. Um, we'll see you later.